Okay, distance traveled. So when we go from 0 to 6, the particle is going forward, first of all. And then at 3, it starts to go backwards. So we saw this before. So to account for the fact that it's going backwards, we have to be careful here. So we're going to write total distance. is um, distance traveled from 0 t until 3 plus the distance traveled from 3 to 6. So for 0 to 3, I'm moving forward, so no issues there. I just go final displacement minus initial displacement. For 3 to 6, I'm going backwards. So if I want this number to be positive, I'm going to need absolute value there. Okay, I want this to be I want this to be positive here because distance is not the same as displacement, right? Displacement is just how far you are from your, you know, your initial base point. But distance traveled is something different entirely. So here I'm moving forward and I cover some distance, and here from zero to six, or sorry, from three to six, I'm moving backwards. But I want to count that distance with a plus, right? I don't want to have any cancellation of numbers here. So my absolute value is essential because this rectangle will be negative. Okay, what's the function for d? d of t is 9t over t squared plus 9. Okay, so I work out this calculation, get 27 over 18 minus uh, 0 plus absolute value 54 over 45 minus 27 over 18 again. Which gives me 27 over, 8, 27 over 18 is 3 over 2 enunciate plus, hmm, what to do about this fraction? 54, 18, that is 3 times 18 gives me 54. So I go 27 times 3 over. What am I talking about? What are you talking about, Jordan? No, 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 no. Let's just do this the normal way. Reduce the fractions. 6 over 5 minus 3 over 2. Uh-huh. Plus uh, negative 2 over 10. 12 minus 15, 12 minus 15, 12 minus 15, minus 3 upstairs, if I'm not mistaken. Having a bit of a slow day, you'll have to bear with me wherever you are in the distance future, distant future. Okay, there we go. So I get uh, 30 plus 6 over. 20, 18, over 10, eighteen over ten, which is nine over five. Or if you prefer one point eight feet. Okay, acceleration. Sorry, 1.8 feet. 
copy that now. Moving on to acceleration. Acceleration is the derivative of velocity. So it's the rate of change of the rate of change. So we start with our d prime, which was v velocity. Start with that guy, which was uh, 9, 9 minus t squared, all over t squared plus 9. all squared. And then acceleration will be the derivative of that. Acceleration is d double prime. d double prime. Okay. This should be fun. Why don't I leave the 9, this 9 here, leave that out front, make a nice big square bracket and do my quotient rule. Oh la la. So I'm going to call this thing F, this thing G, and jump in here and see what I can see. So I got G. F prime. minus f g prime Ooh, la la. chain rule 2 t squared plus 9 dot 2 t and then square the g on the bottom 2 becomes 4 Whew. okay before you start expanding this monster over here, you should try to factor. So I got my 9 out front. What do I see? In the numerator, what's the common factor? I see a t squared plus 9, and I see a 2t. So I'll factor that out. Um, What does that give me? Or what remains, shall we say? Minus t squared plus niner. Oh la la. Minus. Uh, this goes away, right? So this remains. t squared plus 9 power 4. And then what? 